Hey guys, okay, so to start off this look, I'm gonna use sunscreen. I think it's really important to just wear some block every single day. Um, and so I'm just gonna apply that all over. Okay, so next I'm gonna just prime my face using the Professional by The Benefit, and this is a really great primer. I just bought the sample size just to try it out, but it's a really good one if you wanna invest in it. I really recommend it. And I'm just gonna tap that all over the T-zone and wherever I might get oily, and yeah, it just smooths everything out. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my brows. I haven't done my hair, as you can tell from my roots, and my eyebrows are really dark. I'm gonna get it done today, so don't judge. But I'm gonna just use the Morphe palette 35O to just fill in my brows. They're gonna be really dark right now because I just haven't dyed them or anything. Um, but I'm just gonna try, and I already have like pretty full brows. I'm just gonna fill in the spots that are kind of sparse and um, yeah, make it look nice and even. Okay, so next we're going to start on the eyes, and I'm going to use this Day Down Stray. I love this primer. It's a really good one, and it honestly, your eyeshadows stay on all day long, and it really brings out the beautiful colors and the shadows that you choose. So I'm just going to blend that into the eyelid, and I'm going to start with a MAC 221 brush. I'm um, sorry, the focus is not that great on this camera, um, but I'm just going to start off with a really light orangey tone as a transition color just on the crease and I'm just gonna blend that onto the crease you don't have to be super precise with this um, you just really want to blend everything out and I think that's the key to any makeup look is just blending everything you know you don't want it to look too harsh on your face you just want to blend everything nicely so it looks really pretty Okay, so next I'm going to use the shade right next to that orangey one we use as a transition and it's just a really lightish brown taupe color and again we're going to go on it with the crease just to intensify the color from the transition color and you know create a really nice gradient. Okay, so next using kind of like an angled fluffy brush I don't have the name we're gonna just use a darker color this is kind of a has a reddish tone to it um, and we're just gonna put that on the outer V of our eyes and we're just gonna blend that into the crease as well okay so going back to that MAC 221 brush or just a really small blending brush we're gonna grab a darker brown to really intensify our outer V from the eye and this will just give it a really pretty dramatic look and you know just not overly exaggerated but just a really pretty gradient okay so next we're gonna use a really pretty almost like a foil eyeshadow and I don't even know like the color is just so beautiful I don't know if it'll capture like the true color on camera but it's almost like an orangey goldish not even gold like peachy I don't even know but it's just like a really pretty color and um, I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids using a flat brush and then using a bigger blending brush I'm just gonna blend everything out it doesn't really have any color or anything I just want to make everything look really blended and pretty and next I'm gonna grab the Maybelline um, all day color I don't know what um, long-lasting drama and this is in the darkest brown it's called glazed toffee and I'm not gonna be really precise because this is kind of a smoky look so I'm just gonna put it on the waterline or not the waterline what is that just on the line I guess I don't know you know what I mean I can't talk right now um, but yeah so we're just gonna put that there and again you don't have to be really precise
onto the lashes, we're gonna use Falsies Push Up Drama. This is an amazing mascara. Like, I honestly love it so much. I've always used the Falsies, but this one just really does push up your lashes. Um, <laughs> it's a really good product if you guys wanna try it out or looking for a new mascara. And yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna use a green corrector by LA Girl, and this is a really good one if you have a lot of redness in your face or any pimples <laughs> um, like me that you wanna cover up, and it does a really good job to conceal all those blemishes and any redness that you may have. Okay, so next I'm gonna use Max Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. <laughs> That's really long. Um, and NC30. And this stuff is like, this is like honestly my favorite foundation because it is waterproof and it's like sweat proof, everything. Um, and it's been really hot here in California lately. So it's a really good foundation and it lasts you all day long. And I'm just gonna blend that out with, of course, the Beauty Blender. And I honestly never wanted to invest in the $20 Beauty Blender. I always bought like the ones from Marshalls or Walmart that was like $5. But honestly, it felt like they were, it was like punching your face after a couple of weeks. And I just kept buying them and buying them. And they're each like $4. And I bought them at least five times. And so. I could have bought a beauty blender with that price. So I finally gave in and invested in it and I love it. So next I'm just gonna use the Fit Me Powder in 125 and I'm just gonna put, pat that all over my face with the foundation brush. This is just a powder brush I bought at Walmart and I'm gonna blend that out again with the beauty blender just to smooth everything out and kinda take away any excess product. And then I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal this is a yellow corrector and I like this one because I always just use like a regular um, concealer but I felt like this one really does brighten your face and again we're gonna do it in a triangular shape um, and this is just like the contour highlight and contour routine I'm sure you guys have seen it like a million times who hasn't seen a contour video um, and yeah so I'm just gonna put that everywhere I want my face highlighted below the cheekbone so that later when I do contour it you know kind of stands out more it's more prominent and then I'm just gonna blend everything out again with the beauty blender okay, so this next step is optional I'm using the hard candy glamouflage heavy-duty concealer 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 um, in the color light and honestly this stuff is amazing like it is really really like it says it's a heavy-duty concealer and it is trust me so a little bit goes a long way and if you just want under your eyes to be a little bit brighter then I recommend getting it like so next I'm gonna use Elf's High Definition Powder and this stuff is literally a dupe for like Ben Nye's um, banana powder and I'm just gonna use the Beauty Blender to put that underneath um, wherever like I highlighted and this is just kind of like, almost like a baking, I just don't leave it on for that long because I don't think I really need it unless I really wanna go full, full glam. Um, but this stuff is really great. I also, this is in the yellow color. Um, but I also have used like the white one and it's really, really good. You just have to make sure you blend it, otherwise you're gonna look like a raccoon. <laughs> um, so yeah. So next I'm gonna go back to the LA Pro Girl, but this time in Warm Honey to contour. And I usually use toes because it is a little bit darker, but I just couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put that on my nose, cheekbones, forehead. You guys know the drill. I'm sure you've watched a thousand videos. So now I'm gonna go on with my Anastasia contour kit, of course, and I'm just gonna remove any of the excess powder that I put on earlier. And I'm gonna use a yellow color again wherever I highlighted. Just so next, just using an angled brush, I'm gonna use the first 
dark shade kind of and like the second color the grayish tone to just bronze up my face and contour of course So once I've finished using the brush, I'm going to go back to my beauty blender and just blend everything out so it's nice and smooth and even. So after I finish blending, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Dolce Pink. And this is such a pretty blush. Like, I love their, their blushes. It's so nice. And they're only like $3. So once, one thing you'll notice is that I love to use products like that. And I mean, if you can save a couple dollars on really good products, I mean, why not? Um, so next, I'm going to just set in that cream contour that I did on my nose, and I'm just going to use a middle shade, which is kind of like a gray tone, which is perfect for contouring all in my nose, and I'm not really precise just because I don't really think I need too much of a nose contour, and then I'm just going to go back and blend everything. Then I'm going to use a NYX water, um, Wonder Pencil to brighten up my waterline, and this is in medium. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible palette. I love Carly Bible. I'm sure you guys all are subscribed to her. She's amazing. And if you haven't bought the palette, like, you should buy it. It's only $12.50. And it's such a pretty palette. Like, I love it. And I love the highlighters. Um, so I'm just going to use the second highlighter that she has along my cheekbones and just give myself a little bit of a glow. I don't want to go too heavy with the highlighter right now. And then I'm just going to go with the eyeshadow because that's the one that she uses and it's actually a really nice highlighter for your nose. And I'm just going to highlight the nose. Okay, so now onto lips. I'm going to use NYX um, nude beige and I'm gonna just line my lips I don't really overline them I don't think I need to I don't know I just never really been into that um, but you guys can if you want to and then I'm gonna use a soft matte lip cream in London finish off this look, I'm going to use Mario Badesco's Skin Care Facial Spray um, with rose water and I love this stuff. It just really freshens up your face and gives you like a really nice, I don't know, finish. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final result. Um, this is my little baby, Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. He's been like wanting to get on my lap this whole time. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. Um, if you like this video, click like down below. If you wanna watch more of my videos, hit subscribe. Um, I am new to YouTube, obviously. This is my first video. I know it's not perfect. Like, I didn't think it would be perfect, but I'm just happy I'm getting it out there. Um, so I'm gonna film on Fridays, and I'm also planning on filming on Wednesdays. So if I don't have two videos up a week, I'll at least have one video. And um, so if you have any like suggestions for me, anything you wanna see in particular, any looks that you want me to recreate, just comment down below. I mean, this channel is for you guys. I'm gonna do my best to you know, make everyone happy. I know that's impossible and whatever, but I'm really excited to start this with you guys. What are you doing? Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you can hit subscribe again, like I would literally be the happiest person ever. Um, yeah, like thank you guys so much for watching again and I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.